Syrian and Russian warplanes have reportedly mounted the heaviest airstrikes in months against rebel-held districts of the city of Aleppo overnight, defying U.S. calls for a halt to flights in order to salvage an all-but-buried ceasefire. The strikes came as the U.S. and Russia failed to agree on how to revive the ceasefire in Syria during what the U.N. Syria mediator called a long, painful, difficult and disappointing meeting at sidelines of the annual gathering of world leaders in New York. This, of course, follows the U.N. Security Council meeting chaired by New Zealand yesterday. Mana Rabi reports. If there was any hope for reviving the ceasefire in Syria, the latest aerial attacks on Aleppo all but bury it. These images purport to show phosphorus bombs being dropped on the city. They're designed to explode and spread fire on impact. A monitoring group says warplanes mounted their heaviest airstrikes in months against rebel-held areas of the besieged city. One rescue worker said it's as if the planes are trying to compensate for all the bombs they didn't drop last week. A local hospital says 45 people were killed in the overnight bombing. But at least one agreement to reduce the violence in Syria is moving ahead. Several hundred rebels and their families left their last stronghold in the city of Homs in a planned evacuation. They're headed by bus to Idlib province, part of a deal with the government for safe passage to areas controlled by insurgents. Still, the airstrikes by Syria or Russian allies or both are a clear statement. Damascus and Syria have rejected U.S. pleas for a halt to flights, so the ceasefire, such as it is, can be salvaged. Such as it is, goodness. Uh, yeah, not at all. Um, that report from Reuters.